Welcome back to Make Play Treasure. Today we're reading Imani's Gift at Kwanzaa by Denise Burden Patman. Grandmother braided Imani's hair. Imani loved the braiding times. They were special times she and M. Deer shared. There were times of talking and times of listening. Oh, M. Deer said Imani, today is my favorite day of Kwanzaa. Tonight will be our feast and I will be the one to light the candles and tell what Kuma... Kumba means to me. Mdir parched a section of Imani's soft curly hair. Then she began to make individual braids. She wove small beads into each braid. The beads were red, black, and green, the colors of Kwanzaa. She sang softly, With the red, remember the hard work that has been. With the black, show the beauty that is you. With the green, Show faith in the plenty that will be. Kumba is my favorite day of Kwanzaa too, Imani, she said. Kumba creativity reminds us of the beautiful things our people make. There sure is a lot of Kumba around here today, M. Dear. You are making something beautiful when you braid my hair, right? Grandmother laughed. Right, my Imani. I'm making something very beautiful. Now let me finish what I was saying. Kwanzaa is an African word that means first, and dear continued. For hundreds of years, our ancestors in Africa celebrated the harvest of the first crops. Now, Kwanzaa names a special holiday for African Americans. In December, during the seven days of Kwanzaa, our families and friends come together, she explained. We sit and eat and talk together. We remember the good and important things that have taken place during the past year. We tell about the work we must do do to make even better things happen. We give thanks for each other. We give special thanks for our children, the Watoto. There's one Watoto I do not give thanks for, M. Dear. Will you know who come tonight, M. Dear? Did Mama invite Anna and Mrs. Johnson? asked Imani in an unhappy voice. Imani, you know you have a real place in this family. Your parents have shown their love for you by the proud name they give, gave you. Can't you share some of that love with Enna? M. Dear, Enna teases me about my name. She makes fun of lots of other things, too. She says mean things. Imani's cheeks became wet with tears. M. Dear drew her close. It's hard to show love when you haven't seen very much. Enna hasn't. She has had no one to believe in her. She has had no one to tell her who she is and where she came from. Enna is part of the Johnson family now and a part of our neighborhood. Of course she will be coming to our dinner tonight. And it's up to us to help her know the joy and beauty of what we're celebrating. There was a thinking silence. What is the first idea of Kwanzaa and money? M. Dear asked softly. We say, Umoja. It means unity, coming together, Imani answered in a soft voice. Then if you know what unity is, my Imani, you will want to help Anna, right? Imani did not answer. The day went quickly. Wonderful smells filled the house. Mmm. Imani could smell Mama's delicious pies. Imani worked with her family to get ready for their dinner. While they moved furniture, her brother, Haki, played tapes of his favorite African music. Her sister, Aretha, hummed along as she cleaned. Everyone in the house was full of joy and excitement. Imani helped Uncle Maceo prepare the makaka for the table. She placed the ears of corn on the straw mat. She made sure there was one ear of corn for each child, including Anna. Next, Imani laid out the candles. Uncle Mikhail, remember that I'll be the one to light the six candles tonight, one for each day of Kwanzaa so far. Why, who else would be able to do it, Miss Imani? teased her uncle. You are the one with the special name. As she worked, Imani thought and thought about what her grandmother had said. By afternoon, she had made up her mind. She went to her room and worked by herself. Everything came, and it was time to light the candles. M. Deer called to Imani to come and join them. Habari Gani Anna, Imani said in a greeting. 
But Anna did not know how to answer. This was Anna's first Kwanzaa. It's Kwanzaa, Anna. During Kwanzaa, we answer the greeting with the idea of the day. Today's answer is Kumba. Anna tried the so word softly, saying Kumba. Amani caught Anna's hand in her own. They're waiting for us to begin the Karamu, but come to my room for just a minute. I have something to give you. This is a gift, Anna looked at Imani, surprised. You have a gift? For me? It's a Zawadi, a Kwanzaa gift. It shows Kumba, something I made that is special. Open it. Anna tore open the paper. She looked down at the words and pictures Imani had carefully formed. It was beautiful writing, but she did not understand what the words meant. Those are the Ngozo Saba, the seven ideas of Kwanzaa, Emani explained. I don't know about all of them. If you want, together we can ask M. Deer to tell us about each one. Oh yes, I'd like that, said Anna with a shy smile. And Anna, you'll never guess what day it will be tomorrow. Well, it's just Sunday, isn't it? asked Anna. No, not really. It will be the seventh day of Kwanzaa, the day of Imani, Imani said and began to giggle. After a moment, Anna giggled with her. The end. Hope you enjoyed this story. Remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with all of our reading events and activities. Happy Kwanzaa! See you next time.